Okay, so I thought I'd make a short video just coming from the road down to the cabin just to show the work that we've done since we've uh, since we've been here and actually over the last three years or so. Uh, it's not just work we've done, we've had a lot of help, but uh, kind of the work everybody's done, I guess. Even Benjamin, he's helped. That's a good boy, Ben. Benjamin can be a good boy sometimes. He actually is staying still for a whole minute. You stay still, that's a good boy. So this is kind of the aerial view. Okay, so we're starting at the top of the driveway. It's going to be a slow walk because I'm kind of a bad flyer. Now, none of this, none of this driveway has been was in here. We put it all in. And I think it took maybe just this section right up to the truck there probably took about four days and then later we had to gravel over it now where the truck is sitting it actually is a RV parking there and then the driveway veers off to the left here you can see one of the first things after we got the property we had to do was build that outhouse that's down there on the left. This is where I've been working the last few days here. We're building a turnaround and room for more RV parking down here with the lake view, closer to the lake. Where we're building it, there's a lot of peat. It's about a foot down, it's just water. So that's the reason for the logs. Uh, they used to call that a corduroy road, and you actually see them up here on the logging roads all over the place. You just put gravel over top, and you'll never know that it was wet there. So the road here, I think, I know we're, we're over 60 dump trailer loads of gravel so far, and we probably have another 60 to do. For, to finish everything off. Now we're down in front of the cabin. Well, you can see that. A little bit of moss on the roof there, the roof of the porch. And the other roof looks like it needs to be swept off. We brought the sea can there in last year. And uh, that houses our uh, solar. Didn't put the solar out this time because it's just, we're just here for a short time. This is where I've been working as well this time up. I'm pushing a uh, road into the bushes there towards the property line. The building in the back on the right that you see there is the shower house. And that was built last year too.
we had to put a roof, well, Scott put a roof on the cabin. Here comes Benjamin. That's our woodshed. The cabin is got to be somewhere around 60 years old, I think. No mice, believe it or not. <clears throat> Okay, so let's go up in the air a little bit here and uh, maybe take a look at the lake. You can see I'm kind of going back and forth. It's tight in here. I'm trying to avoid the trees. I can't go super high in this video because it doesn't look like it, but it is windy. And there is a lake. It's pretty awesome. See the island? Still quite dead after being struck by lightning and burning. Uh, the lightning caused a ground fire. Okay, I was getting dizzy, so let's go back down. Boat's ready to go. We haven't been out yet this year. Benjamin's dying to go fishing. He loves fishing. Okay, so if you've watched this far, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Say thanks for watching, Ben.